emotions, into our mindset, our relationships, and we find ourselves at a place like this, in a dark hour of our life, doing something we never thought we would do. We know that when you were young, you never dreamed of the day or looked forward to the day you would end up at an abortion clinic to have your son or your daughter dismembered. It's not something little boys or little girls dream of. Sam, why do you have a cross in your window? one of the nurses. We are not here to simply just say abortion is murder. Yes, although it is, we're here to say that there's a God who created you, who created that child, and has a plan for your life, and if you will allow him in, he will heal you. Ma'am, we just want to beg and plead with you to stop taking advantage of women in their difficult hours. Please, this is the nurse. You love women, help them. Please stop providing a way for irresponsible men to neglect their obligations and duties to be fathers. Please stop aiding and abetting people who have abused women and throw them in an abortion clinic to cover up the abuse. Ma'am, please, women need advocates. The guilt and shame associated with abortion for men and for women is overwhelming. The suicide rate, the eating disorders, the night terrors. Ma'am, please, don't take advantage of them and make money off of their pain and suffering. Help them out. You know that we're helping them for free because we know that women are valuable. Please, ma'am, we plead with you, do not lie to women anymore. Stop lying to them. You've seen the tears. How many women have you seen walk out of the clinic after you performed the abortion? Sorrowful, sad, and mourning. There's not joy in abortion. There's only shame. Folks, today, there is a declaration that there is a king, one named Jesus. He died on the cross that no other sacrifice, that no other death 